Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Sethum and welcome back to another video guide for Conan Exiles. Today in this video, folks, I'm going to be showing you how to obtain the uh, map room, how to unlock that, how to build it and what you need. So I'm going to be covering that really quickly as well as where all the obelisks are. And that will be the main focus of this video. So if you folks enjoy this video, please do not forget to support me and the channel by hitting that like button subscribe to the channel if you're new and haven't already for more similar content from myself and if you have just subscribed why not check out some of my other videos and guides here on this channel who knows you might just enjoy them also for those interested you can always find me on the Sethtopia discord links to this of course you can find down below in the video's description as well as in a pinned comment from myself so that is what the map room looks like and that allows you to teleport to specific locations providing that you have synchronized your bracelet with the obelisks at those locations so it is a one-way transport and you can find it in the feet once you have unlocked it so i'm just gonna type it out so i can find it quickly and this is what you will unlock when you unlock the uh cartographer so you'll get the map room and the corrupted stone which you'll need for the crafting of the map room So let's get into the crafting side of things. You will obviously be able to craft it in your inventory once you have all of the required items and this is what you will need in order to craft it. I'm going to cover how to get the alchemical base and the corrupt stone. As for the crystal and reinforcements, well those you should already know how to do. So to get the alchemical base you will need silver and gold dust and ichor. Now, obviously, I have a high tier thrall. It is a named thrall, which makes it one of each. If you don't have that, I think it requires two or three of gold and silver. You can obtain gold and silver from different locations in the game. I have guides for that as well. You can use coins and bars in a grinder to turn it into dust. The corrupted stone, as you can see, you will need stone, uh, demon blood, and the... Um, Iker. I nearly forgot what it was called. So let's get into how you learn the map. So down here where the archivist is, you will go and talk to him. He will teach you the cartographer skill, which will, of course, unlock the map room. So down here is a white giant ghost. Go and talk to him. Uh, he has three options, I think, or two one which she tells you about the lore, the other one that will teach you the cartographer. And I think the third option is to end the discussion. Yes, there we go. Now already I have got that skill. Oh no. So next thing is how to get all of the uh, obelisks attuned to your bracelet. So we're going to do that. There are a total of 10. Oh, that was close. And the first one I'm going to do is above the dregs. How you choose to get up here is up to you. You will actually have to climb primarily. Do be careful when you do climb. Obviously, for the purposes of this, I will be using God Mode. I will be using Infinite Stamina as well as uh, the Cloak. So I don't end up having to fight creatures. So this is where the dregs is. Right above it, of course, is the first obelisk. Now, most of the obelisks, with the exception of one, is attuned to my bracelet. Next one is right next to the cartographer, right there. Or archivist, actually, to the archivist uh, entrance. So that's where we went in to talk to the guy. This is where the obelisk is. Walk to it, interact, then that's how you attune it. The third one is right here. Now, most of these will be close to something important or a dungeon so over here we do have several uh fairly important things we've got the relic hunter city which is a neutral city uh we've got several bosses in several interesting locations no dungeon in this area so the fourth one is next to the sinkhole that's the sinkhole right there we're going to do that as well um right let me get my bearings <laughs> right, so it should be behind this structure right here. Whoops, did not mean to do that. 
There is a little book here which you can interact with if you want. It does teach you an emote. And this is the obelisk already attuned. So that would be a total of four obelisks. There are two in the jungle, one right here. So you got these uh, bridge-like things, whatever structures they are. I'm not quite sure what they are like. Yeah, I wouldn't even know what to call these. But right behind me should be the obelisk. Now, if this video is a bit too fast, you can always pause it to get your locations. Next one is close to the city of Valha or whatever it's called. Well, we got Dragon's Eye. I don't know why I unlocked it just now, but whatever. So, there is the next one. And that should pretty much be for this region. Now, we're going to go up north. There should be, uh, I think, four more. I think so far we've got six of them. Let's see. One two three four five yeah six obelisks there should be three of them up here and also we've got an obelisk right there next to the dungeon right here so this is the Barrow King dungeon this is where the obelisk is it's on a little island separate to everything else you will have to swim then climb up it just to get to it. Obviously, this one's been attuned as well. Then we have two in the frozen area and then one in the volcano. So, this is the bridge right here and this is the path that you take to get to the Black Keep. So, the obelisk should be just around there. Obviously, I'll teleport there as well. So, it should be... Oh, there we go. So, this is another one of these wonderful obelisks there's another one here in the frozen north that's the bridge right there so you basically just walk past the bridge and it's kind of visible as you will get to the other end next one is up here next to the temple of frost uh, again this one's close to the dungeon so there is the obelisk obviously again this one's been attuned and right in front of me is the entrance to the frost keep and the final obelisk, that should be the tenth one, once my map loads up, is in the volcano next to the dungeon again. Now this one is a bit of a pain to get to, but once you get to it and unlock it, it will provide you with a good teleport location to get to the uh, Well of Skelos. So that would be a dungeon not far from this particular obelisk and that is pretty much for the obelisks now obviously i did say about demon blood and the acre so in the next section i'm just gonna briefly go over what you need to do to get the demon blood and acre um so that is it that's a total of 10 obelisks once you've had these unlocked and the map room set up you can of course teleport to those locations now the map room you will need to have a eight by eight foundationed uh space to place it down it is fairly huge and that is the size required to be able to place it down also very important to know is that you can always attune your bracelet to the obelisks without necessarily having the uh, map room unlocked so if you're near those locations might as well attune the bracelet for when you do get the map room but as you can see I'm gonna go around showing you oh hello so these are all the obelisks just to show you these are the locations on the map that we've unlocked if it's not unlocked it will not allow you to teleport So each location, as you can see, has a different highlighted color. And there we go. And I think there's two more. There we go. And over here. So that would be the volcano one. With that out of the way, I'm going to go over getting the demon blood and getting the other bits and pieces. 
So, with regards to the Demon Blood, now, there are various ways of farming it. My preferred method is doing specific bosses. Uh, to me, they are not that difficult, and so that is what I'm going to cover. The bosses that will yield Demon Blood will be the Demon Spider right here. Very easy to do. You can use a Thrall or set up a trap. I do have a video for how to solo this guy. You will drop a decent amount of demon blood. The other one would be the giant spider right here. Again, very easy world boss to solo. Drops demon blood. Then you've got the more harder ones. Uh, so I've got the Borrow King. Again, easy. I was about to forget about this guy. He drops a ton of demon blood. Definitely worth farming this guy. And then we have the unnamed city where you can always farm a ton of demon blood so we've got a dragon up there next to my uh, mouse cursor then we've got another dragon right here that drops demon blood all dragons will drop demon blood so that's the dragon i was on before uh, there's another dragon right there you will drop demon blood as well then we have the white bat boss that drops demon blood and then we have this right here which again has a white bat boss that will drop demon blood so that is one way of farming demon blood there are other creatures that will yield demon blood but i prefer quantity over having to kill multiple enemies just to get a, a handful of demon blood i prefer going for the uh quantity per kill so i want as much as i can get uh, next up, I'm going to be showing you how to get the Icker. There are, of course, several ways of doing it. You can farm certain creatures, but the best way of doing it is, of course, by setting up a fish trap. And in the fish trap, you will get the unappetizing fish, which is like this. So this is what they look like. I'll get the other one as well. With that, then take it to a cooking pot or a campfire. Put it in there with some fuel and cook it off. You will get some cooked fish and obviously ichor as well. So I'll show you that. There we go. And as these cook, we'll get the cooked fish and the ichor. So very easy to get as well. I'd probably set up several fish traps just to get the ichor fast if you are in a rush. And that is pretty much it. That is kind of how you get this. The map room is quite useful for teleporting from your base to separate locations. Alternately, if you teleport from your main base to a specific location more frequent, you might want to set up another map room close to the location that you want to teleport so that you can teleport close to your base. That would spare you the uh, travel time. But that is it for this video, folks. I do hope that you have enjoyed it and found it useful and informative. If you have, please do not forget to support me and the channel by hitting that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and haven't already for more similar content from myself. And if you have just subscribed, why not check out some of my other videos and guides here on this channel? Who knows, you might just enjoy them. Also, for those interested, you can always find me on the Sethtopia Discord. Links to this, of course, you can find down below in the video's description as well as in a pinned comment from myself. Until next time. Stay safe, folks.